welcome back to my channel. Ahoite, happy Thai trip. Namoyam kanale, akosamate, dobre, super. Guys, welcome to a brand new setting. As you guys can see, there are two obvious things that are different in this video. One is my surrounding. I'm actually in Isabella's room today. I'm recording from her room. It's not yet finished. So I'm not going to show you guys what it looks like yet. And the second thing that's different, obviously, is my hair. Many of you guys have asked about my hair and you are very curious and wondering what my hair looks like. So here you go. This is my hair natural. This is my natural hair and it is an afro, obviously. Uh, the reason why I don't wear my hair up as much is because it's such high maintenance um, to wear out. So I tend to either wear it in um, either hair extensions or braids or some sort of protective hairstyle just to not keep it out so much. Um, for many of you guys who probably wouldn't know, many of my followers wouldn't know, Afro hair grows out in coils. So it grows out of your scalp like in coils, whereas European hair will grow straight, hence why it's a lot silky and easy to manage. And Afro hair grows out, yeah, curly. <laughs> I wanted to do a QA and a in this video because many of you guys asked me lots of questions including one about my hair which I've spoken about um, but I get a lot of questions on my um, sort of Instagram, on Facebook, on my YouTube etc and I try to answer as many of them as possible um, however I know that some of you guys may miss the answer so I get asked the same question again so I thought I would do a Q&A and just address some of those questions and hopefully if anybody asks, asks me a question that's already been addressed I can just say go and view my Q&A video which I have never done before so this is a first so I've got my phone here and I screenshotted some questions which I am going to answer Question number one came from somebody called Petraskova, I think it was from Instagram. Hi Abby, I like your videos about Slovakia, I have a lot of friends and family in this country, I'm from Czech Republic, I have some questions for you. Why are you learning Slovakia? Have you got family in Slovakia? Your surname sounds, your surname is Tulikova and it's a typical Slovak name. Why am I learning Slovak? Uh, many of you guys know my husband is Slovak, so I started learning Slovak as a way to communicate with his family and um, started doing videos about it just so you guys can watch how I am progressing and my my channel has just kind of taken off uh, as being like a predominantly channel, uh, being the channel where I predominantly talk about me learning Slovak culture, language, knowing about the people, etc. So that's why I'm learning Slovak. Have you got family in Slovakia? I do have family in Slovakia. I've married into my husband's family, so therefore I do have family in Slovakia. This is another question I have got. I probably won't say the person's name just because just protects the innocent. It says, hi Abby, I'm a black girl who has a thirst of having a white guy. Please help me find one. <laughs> I think you should ask yourself, why is it that you desire a white man? so much i mean what is the difference between a white man and every any other man why are they on a pedestal and other men are not everyone obviously has their preferences that's absolutely fine but um yeah i would question <laughs> what your motive is for marrying a white guy this is from nico he says what's your hobby how old are you what type of food do you prefer I can say now that one of my hobbies is in fact doing YouTube. I absolutely love doing YouTube. It's my um, biggest release at the moment. Uh, recently, obviously, I have, I'm have i pregnant, so it's been a bit slow to uh, release some videos, but that is one of my biggest passion. I also enjoy playing netball, which is a sport which um, you play in a team, and the aim of the game is to get the ball from one side to the other so you can score in the net but you can't move with the ball. I love helping out with charity which I don't do as much anymore but definitely when Izzy's born I will pick that up again. So those are probably my biggest um, kind of hobbies I guess. When I list out like that it sounds quite sad. How old are you? I am 30 years old. What type of food do you prefer? My favourite uh, food is Vietnamese food. Uh, Vietnamese street food. I very, I very much like that. This is from Oshi J O. Is uh, and they oh and they've said, how do you feel about living in Slovakia? Uh, I presume you've married for life. Because of your appearance, i.e., belonging to the black race, you will always be identified as an outsider. 
or a foreigner how do you feel about that that's question number one well I, one i don't live in slovakia uh that's another question that i get all the time i do not live in slovakia people i don't i live in the united kingdom in london with my husband and our soon-to-be baby i'm exposed to people that are slovaks accepted in the by the wider slovak society I don't know i'm gonna put this question out to you guys can you guys tell me um if you have any mixed race slovak um friends and is it normal are they accepted because i don't know i can't answer this question because i i've never experienced it for myself obviously or kids that i mean my unborn kids i don't know yet so if you guys can answer that question for me are mixed race um slovaks accepted in the wider slovak society that's the question for you guys Another question I get is, why do you like Czechs and Slovaks so much? I feel like I've answered it before. The reason why I do my channel and it's, you know, predominantly I talk about Slovaks and Czech is just because I am fascinated by, by my husband. My husband fascinates me, to be honest. And um, I just want to learn more about his culture and where he's from, the country he's from, the history of it, the people there, the religion just everything and I just thought I'd take you guys on the journey with me of what I'm learning so it's not uh, that I'm fascinated or have this obsession with, <laughs> with Slovaks and Czechs it is just mainly it is just Slovak but obviously with with um with learning about Slovak then comes Czech as well because it used to be the same and then if, eventually I'm sure I will expand into Polish and Russia you know etc but I will not speak about something that I don't know anything about. I don't know much about Russia or Poland. Uh, what I'm learning about is Slovakia. So, yeah, that is that is why I do so many videos on Slovakia. Hi, hello. You have a great blog. I'm looking to I'm looking to see you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's try that again. Hello. You have a great blog. Can I ask how many black people live in Slovakia? Do you know? I have to admit, besides you, I don't know anyone. Again, don't live in Slovakia. How many black people live in Slovakia? Nevim. I don't know, but I can tell you that in Trnava, I think I've seen maybe one, and the Spartak Trnava football team have a few um, black players in it, so I think I might have seen a couple of them on match day. But besides that, not many. I don't think there is many black people in Slovakia, but I haven't counted. So another question that I do get is, uh, how do your families feel about you and your husband, you know, being of two different races? I feel like I've answered this one before, but my family definitely do not care that um, my husband is Slovak or white. I know his family definitely don't care. We've got, we're quite fortunate to have a very, kind of open-minded family i know there's a lot of people there who probably have uh, partners whose families are not as as open-minded but for us my husband gets on famously with my dad i get on amazingly with his family um my mum loves my husband my sisters so it's for us it's not it's not a big deal i don't i don't think there's um you know we see the color obviously it's people who say i don't see color that's ridiculous obviously they know that he's white and his family know i'm black but it's um not any deeper than that what language will you be teaching your children uh, we plan to teach our our children slovak english and french uh, so i we speak uh, obviously my husband speaks slovak we speak english and french is um, a language um, that i speak a little bit of as well we may if it's not too confusing maybe might teach them my native language of lingala which is uh, the language spoken in in congo but let's start with those three first <laughs> and then we will see the bonus question i do get asked for those who know that i live in london in, in the united kingdom do you have a plan to move to slovakia maybe maybe you just have to watch this space we have a lot of family obviously in slovakia but we have a lot of family in england as well so wherever we live we're breaking somebody's heart um <laughs> but uh it ha isn't something we haven't thought about put it that way and you guys will be the first to know if we do say we're moving to slovakia that's it guys thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to follow me on all my other socials um if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it and subscribe to it and comment on it and i will catch you guys in my next one ahoy ciao bye